how to manually address with the wireless remote controller. If you've got a Samsung unit and you're not able to go through the pipe check operation because it's either outside the temperature is below 41 or above 104 and the inside temperature is not it's not higher than 60 degrees then it may fail pipe check operation and that is where you're automatically addressing uh, so you're figuring out what indoor units you've got on what pipes now there's something you need to know before you use this wireless controller and you try to manually address I've got three indoor heads we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you what you need to know. Now you may get a error code E108, which is uh, repeated addresses. Uh, you may get an error 190, which is a failed pipe check. Uh, you may get an E199. That means that you need to, your pipe check is incomplete. You may need to push the K1 and go through your pipe check. But sometimes pipe check operation fails, and that's because the outdoor temperature is not within 41 to 104 degrees, and the indoor temperature is not higher than 60. So we're going to use this wireless controller, but we want to go outside, and I want to talk about different pipes from top to bottom, how they're addressed, and then I want to talk about what you need to know before you use this wireless controller. All right? You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's get started. This right here is the outdoor unit and we've got three indoor heads and the first thing you need to know is you need to know which indoor head goes to which pipe. Is it on the top pipe or the bottom pipe or the middle pipe? You see I've got a two ton with three pipe connections. This is a multi-zone free joint multi. We've got three wind free wall mount air handlers inside. So what do I do? I come over here and I figure out which unit goes to these pipes which would be addressed zero, zero, zero which one would go to the, the second pipe, which would be zero one, and which would go to the third, which would be zero two. Your first pipe is always uh, addressed as zero, right? Zero, one, two. So it looks like my top pipe goes to this head. It's in the bedroom. And then my, that'd be zero. And then the second pipe, it looks like it's going over here. So that would be number two, I'm sorry, number one. And then the very bottom pipe, it looks like it goes over to that head in the living room. All right. So that's going to be number two, right? So zero, one, two. Let's go inside. Let's go ahead and address because we got an, an error 190 and that is it failed pipe check. Let's go. All right. Now I'm going to show you what to do. First thing you do is you take one of the batteries out. All right. See that? When you do that, your screen is going to go blank. This is the most advanced remote known to humankind. Look at that. Finally. Okay, take out both batteries. All right. Before you put this battery in, hold the plus and minus button down while putting the battery in. All right. What's that going to do? It's going to enter us into a mode, right? Basically a an auto or a manual address mode. After pushing these buttons down at the same time and putting the batteries in, you are going to see this screen. And what we want to do is we want to change the digit on the left to the letter A. The digit on the right, we want to change this to a 1. So if we push the win button, it's going to change the digit on the left. And we're going to push it until it says A. All right. A. Now, the fast right here, this button, is going to change the digit on the right. So we're going to push it once and it's going to say A1, right? Now we're going to push the mode button twice till it says dry. Now our first unit is going to be our top pipe, our first pipe, which is going to be 00. zero. That's the address. So point the remote at the unit and push the power button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Four or five. You can do it again. You should hear a couple beeps. Then we're going to go to our second unit. All right. And our second unit is not this one. We're going to go to the second unit. And this is going to be our second pipe. And what we're going to do is the second address is going to be we're going to change the first digit to one zero, and that is the second pipe. It's the second address pointed at the unit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, 
right. All right, got that one. Now we go to the last unit. And this is our third pipe, our third address, third indoor unit. All right, now we're going to change our first digit to a two. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. I like to do it twice. All right, and that's it. Take the batteries out. Let the screen lose power, and then we just addressed our three indoor wall mount air handlers. I'm so excited. I'm so happy when stuff works. When it doesn't, I'm upset. Taddy's Maddie, but not right now. Look at this. Power. Oh, got to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Hit the set button. More than five seconds. Three, four, five. Boom. All right. Now we're going to turn these on heating. And then we're going to turn them down because the homeowner's not here. They're away right now. So I'm going to turn it on, I would say, 60 because they're not here. So I'm going to turn it on 60. And I'm going to go turn the other two units on. So come on. Sixty. Alright, last unit. Alright, last unit. Turn them on heat. Fans on auto. These are super nice. You can move the horizontal and the vertical vane uh, just with the push of the button. These are the new wind free models. So we got built in Wi Fi. We got the micro holes across the front. So when we get close to satisfying temperature inside, this vane will close and then the rest of the air will just pour out those micro holes so that you don't get a draft. Super nice. Love these redesigned models too because all the panels come off without screws except for one. So if you got a Phillips screwdriver, you only have two screws you got to take out to get all these panels off of this unit to work on it. So super simple and easy to work on. Let's go check the outdoor unit and make sure it's coming on. Remember that with a multi-zone piece of equipment with a free joint multi, you use K1 for pipe check and that's auto addressing. Sometimes you have to manually address, pipe check doesn't always work. And that's easy, now you know how to do that. If you have a single zone, for the Wim Free 3.0s, you use the Smart Install, I'll show you that. Smart Install is used for commissioning the Wim Free 3.0s. All you have to do is, when the air conditioner is in standby status, initiate Smart Install by pushing the power, mode, and set buttons all at the same time for four seconds. So, really easy, power, mode, set hold those down and you'll enter the smart install mode last about 13 minutes and then if successful it ends with a ring and that's for a single zone that means you only got one indoor unit and one outdoor unit and that's how you commission those we got warm air we got heat samsung wind free nice Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. If you learned something, let me know in the comments what you learned. If you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are. Let me know where you're from. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.